Get ready for the next battle. Toonie SA here with episode 3 of Toonie vs Caddy Relics. I am Toonie SA. On my quest to defeat all of Caddy's Platinum Relic times, we have a time to beat here of 25 for the Platinum and 1902 for Caddy. So I'm going to be trying my best here. I've got myself a save state here right in front of the clock with a mask, which you'll see me loading back to because it saves me farming and it also puts me on a good cycle for this first um, platform so I don't need to like keep getting the timing down on that but yeah let's see how we do I've not watched Caddy's run I just know that it, from uh, people that have commented in the discord that this is a tough time to beat it's a tough time for platinum let alone Caddy's time I don't know if there are any version differences between this and the PS2 version but I've heard rumors that there are oh, i've missed too much there so yeah i'm not going to waste runs if i feel like a run is going down the drain you're going to see me just loading back state to save on my time so this is my second attempt now and i know there's a strat to go over the curly whirly section there to avoid all this tomfoolery but what I've noticed is that there seems to be some kind of like invisible barrier that sometimes prevents me from gaining the speed slash height necessary to make the jump. So if I miss it, I'm just going to continue with the run because I think the normal way of doing it, if you can get enough time crates, is only slightly slower. Right, this part here, oh, very nearly died. Come on, come on, come on. Now I need this second elevator to go my way. Come on, come on. Damn. That's probably game over, isn't it? You need that elevator. I'm pretty sure anyway. Like, the time save that I've just got is quite good, but it's not enough to cover me for the whole run. Yeah. I'm running on fumes. Alright, I would have had maybe a pretty good chance of beating him on my second try there if the second elevator had gone my way. That's pretty fast, 11.15. It's a good split, I think. I mean, I did try and make the skip as always, but it didn't work out. I mean, a lot of the boxes that you, a lot of the boxes you're quite fortunate that you just smash automatically because they're in your way, but that's not the case with all of them. So yeah, that's why I kept the mask so that I could get a speedy collection on that nitro crate there. I am slightly ahead, although this was not in a good spot. Not quite as bad as the last room, but still not in a good spot there. Right, this is the one that I've also got to pick up speed for, so that I can go over like that. Alright, we'll, gra we'll grab that two crate maybe. Because I've lost all my momentum. Shit, lost all that momentum. Yeah, we've gone past him. Crap, we still had a bunch of the level to go as well. I'm um, just keep going so I can kind of see what time I'm currently looking at, but it looks like I really, really fluffed up there. Wait, is there another way? I feel like, yeah, okay, there's a nitro way over there. That could be, um, I'm not sure if there's time crates that way. Uh, in fact, I don't know which way is the best way to go there, up or down. Or I guess because the elevator is an issue, maybe it's better to just like go, um, go down. Just play it safe. Yeah, so taking that curly whirly has actually cost me time there. You see that? I was down to 14 seconds. That's actually way worse. So maybe skipping the curly whirly is not actually beneficial on that first part, but it's definitely going to be beneficial on the second part. Alright, miss every fucking crate in the curly whirly. That's one way to not beat Caddy miss every single crate that you need. 
This crate here, though, is an absolute ball ache to get. You need to kind of, like, really slow down to finesse it. It's like if I was doing an actual speed run, dodging that curly whirly would be a huge time save, but in relic runs, the fastest way for speedrunners is not always the best way. Given that time breaks are a thing. But yeah, this could take a while. This is not a... Uh, definitely could take a while with mistakes like that. Why is it so difficult to slow down there? Like, I'm not really even putting that much welly into the descent. It's very, very obvious to me as well that ma maintaining momentum is really crucial. You need momentum to take you up, to, uh, to take you up like the next ramps. Otherwise, you lose so much time just rebuilding up that momentum. Absolutely essential, you could say. Right, please, for the love of all that is everything. There we go. Right, please be favorable. That would have been favorable if I didn't get stuck. If I didn't get stuck there, that would have been a very, very favor favorable ascent. I'm going to nickname this level. Instead of Bamboozle, this is just going to be Elevator Simulator, since that's what the main focus of the level is, just simulating Wayne for elevators. Getting slippery climb vibes. Right, we want to go full welly here, don't we? So that we can skip over, miss the two... Come on, don't lose it. You need to maintain that speed, don't you? If you can make if you can make that, you're fine. If you can make that, you're laughing. You lose about three seconds just trying to rebuild up the momentum there. Oh, I'm over. I'm over. If I ever do get to that point again, I am going to continue the run though regardless because I do need to practice um, what comes after that since that's the furthest I keep getting. So hard to get that one purge. Still alive. Don't know how. Fuck. That's it. This is gonna. This is like. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be like lab level of precision. That's how much you need to go right in this level. It, it's basically the lab, but in a ball. So it's way less interesting. But I am not liking my odds of doing this quickly. I'm not sure how many attempts it took Caddy to do, but I'm going to guess it took him a decent amount. But hopefully, the more I play, the more I should get better at just even controlling the uh, hamster ball. I say that as I literally fall to my death. What a fucking joke. But the thing with this level is this literally... Oh my god. Goodness gracious me, that is atrocious. That something about that section just isn't right. Give me Tornado Alley like 50 hundred times compared to that junk. That one crate should get like slowing down to get that one crate should not be faster, but apparently it is. And I missed it anyway. <clears throat> it doesn't deserve to be faster, it's a second. Like it doesn't even make sense. Oh, Fudge your brother-in-law. Balls Mahoney. That was looking like a fantastic run. We just needed to make that one damn thing and it would have been fantastic. Uh, that elevator is just a bitch because, like, you, if you see it there, it's like you're more likely to mess up basically because you're like, oh, this is good fortune. Fuck, Mr. Three. That was going so damn well until I missed that damn three. Is it going to be possible missing a three? Probably not. 
Oh, I'm missing two threes. Game over. Come on, we just need we just need like that run and then not mess up at the end. That's what we need. We just need that run again. <laughs> it's asking a lot though, because like that run went absolutely fantastically. Up until that really, really crucial point. Oh my gosh, that was the best I've ever taken that turn. That will have saved like a second without even like needing to get a time crate or anything. That's how powerful good handling would be on this level. It can like literally save you mountains of time. Alright, elevator, please don't fail me here. We are at a good time. You failed me, didn't you? You done failed me. Oh wait, we can make it work. Oh, game, why do you hate me? You gave me such a good sense of optimism for Wrath after the first two levels, only to snatch her all the way on level three. This is torture porn for somebody. And it's me. Not as good of a turn, but still okay. We can make this work. We are a little bit slower, I believe. Eventually, muscle memory is just going to take over, and that's what that's what I'm like praying for is that muscle memory will eventually just be so damn good that I'll just be in autopilot for the entire level until I get it. Come on, come down. Thank you. Thank you nicely, sir. I just really need to get some good practicing coming up. Shit. Mess that up. I didn't quite have the required speed. I didn't quite have the required speed to make it over the edge, so he just like hit that invisible barrier that I was talking about. And if you hit that invisible barrier, like there, there are no time crates like to stay on board for. So you are just literally letting time slip away needlessly at that point. Getting a 10 second there would be the dream. I've done it once, so I know it's doable. I'm talking about that two second crate at the end there, of, of, of like that section. Getting a 10 second split there is absolutely phenomenal and I really want it. So it's like, it's a really good omen for the rest of the run. That however is not a good omen for the rest of the run. Because now I've got to needlessly kind of frame my way back over. Oh, never mind. You son of a bitch. Why elevator? I love Avicii's music. Oh wait, that's the levels. Different word. Rolly, 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 roll in. I know, I know that the run is definitely within my grasp. It's just like, again, it's like some of the other levels uh, from the Insane Trilogy where you know what needs to be done. You just need a hell of a lot of things to go like well to get the run. So that's what I'm really trying to do here. It's just like absolutely nail so many impossible things in one run. Testament to Caddy, again, I don't know how long it took him to get the time he got, but it, he beat, like, Platt by six seconds. And this level is absolutely atrociously hard. Crap. This is not a good omen. Waiting for, I know that, like, it's not necessarily game over waiting for that elevator, but it is, like... It is good time save if I can get that elevator. So you kind of want it. Right, we got that this time. And then there's some crates over here that I keep missing. There we go. Come on. Keep at it at 15, 60. Fuck, we missed a two. That's going to be huge. Mm. Again, the run. The You just like, there's so many places that you can die because you can't not be fast. You, you can't, like, let go of forward, otherwise you just, like, come to a screeching halt, and then you just know it's game over. That was just an atrocious split. Absolutely atrocious. We have done this so much faster. 
12.06. Get the fuck out of here with that time. I'm pretty sure in the last run I was like entering like this far into 12 or 13. That's absolutely abysmal. I'm gonna hold on to hope though. Maybe the elevator will be like in a slightly better position and then it will all be okay. Well, not really. I mean, it was at least on the descent as opposed to just like going up. Still not ideal. Okay, slow the fuck down. There we go. All right, we're getting better at least nailing that. And then, yeah, I just need muscle memory to start like being a thing in this section here because I've only been here a handful of times. And so, like, I get here and I kind of, like, my brain panics. Like, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, where's the, where's the exit? Oh my gosh, I went right past the exit. <laughs> ah... I went right past the exit I thought I was done for. Because <laughs> a second goes by that quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what, we will restart the trial. Let's go for a better time. There were so many things that went wrong in that run, I know I can get a better time. I shouldn't really be that bothered. Like, I should just be really ecstatic right now that I just beat Caddy. Uh, but when, when so many things go run and you still beat someone, like, the main thing being me accidentally going straight past the return home portal because I had no idea where it was. I only ever really come, uh, come to it from the other angle. So I was like, where the fuck is this thing? So yeah, there's a lot of progress that we could make. We could probably, like, you know, be pushing 17 seconds if uh, I actually get a much better run. And now again, muscle memory will start to, like, hopefully become a thing. Oh, I think I'm doing worse right now. It's at 17. Come on, stay on. All right. Yeah, I'm doing a worse run at the moment, but you never know. Miracles can happen. All right. Yeah. I still, I still wouldn't even say I have muscle memory. I was just kind of like reacting to things when I got to this section, so I still didn't really know where I was going. I knew the approximate direction, and that's one direction. It's down. My target, really, is just any kind of better time. I know I said that in Tornado Alley and then proceeded to get more and more better times, but I'm only, like, aiming for a slightly better time purely because I know that that run that I just did was not a very good one. With that ending, I know that that ending can be improved.
Sub 15. Look at that for a time. 14, 16. Oh, what a run. What a run. You know, you see yourself close to another sub and you think, can I do it? Can I get sub 14? The answer is, I think it's possible, but I'm not willing to grind any more for it. So that will do me. I'm going to take my relic back to the war room. So we have defeated Caddy's relics on three levels now. And yeah, next time we're going to be dealing with wizards and lizards, which is the first chase sequence level. So stay tuned to see me versus Caddy on that level. See you in the next one. Bye. Unplug your mic and um, just put it in the office. I can pack it away, but that would be really helpful if you if you were going. I will too. Thanks for the gifted subs, whoever that was. I'll get to you in a second. It's, it's okay, honey. Everyone. Oh, are we going? Ah, oh, I think Karis and Chloe are going. Oh, I see. Right. But you've left the stream because you've unplugged your mic. So if my timing is right, by the time we get to that bit with the secret, sneaky, hidden millions of time crates in one place, if my timing is right, we should be able to then also get up on that, that platform and grab the rest. Why not? Let's just do it. I don't know if that saved me any time or added any time. I have no idea. Let's just see how long I can keep that clock ticking on 18 seconds. Okay, I missed a second. It's fine. I can make it work. I can make it work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, yeah, I've done it. I've done it. Sorted. Got 15. <sighs> Look at that for a time. Did 14, it by 16. quite a lot, actually. Nice. Oh, what a run. What a run.